Jersey Cruise by and uh, kids come around all the time throwing bottles and screaming queer queer so this car cruise by and real slow and some kid leans out the window and says suck my dick my friend flipped him the finger and said something all of a sudden the car slams on the brakes and five kids come piling out the door and start kicking the shit out of my friend for the next 10 minutes, about 100 guys came out of the bars from around the corner. They're surrounding these five guys, beating the shit out of my friend. And his friend took off right away. And later my friend found out he'd just run home. Didn't bother calling the cops or nothing. And all these guys crowding around watching five guys beat up one guy. And none of them said or did a fucking thing. My friend said they're stopping on his chest and legs. And breaking a lot of his ribs. Stopping on his head and his chest. At one point he gets up, you can hardly feel him hitting him. He's jumping up and down on his head and arms and legs. Finally says he remembers jumping up, plowing through the crowd. They're running, they're running, they're running, they're running. The kids chase after him, but he ran faster, faster, faster through the streets and out of the neighborhood. He kept running until he collapsed on a side street. official look like because I reached him through the TV screen and ripped his face in half. Now I was diagnosed with AIDS recently and this is after the last few years of losing count of the friends and neighbors who've been dying slow, vicious, and unnecessary deaths 
Cause fags and dykes and junkies are expendable in this country. If you want to stop AIDS, shoot the queers, says the governor of Texas on the radio. And his press secretary later claims that the governor was only joking and didn't know the microphone was turned on. And besides, they didn't think it hurt his chances for re-elections anyways. And I wake up every morning, and I wake up every morning, and I wake up every morning in this killing machine called America. And I'm carrying this rage like a blood-filled egg. And there's a thin line between the inside and the outside, a thin line between thought and action. And that line is simply made up of blood and muscle and bone. And I'm waking up more and more from daydreams of tipping Amazonian blowguards in infected blood and spitting them at the exposed necklines of certain politicians or government health care officials or those thinly disguised walking swastikas that wear religious garments over their murderous intentions or those rabid strangers praying against AIDS clinics in a nightly news suburb. There's a thin line, a very thin line between the inside and the outside. And I've been looking all my life at the signs around us, in the media or on people's lips. The religious types outside St. Patrick's Cathedral shouting to the men and women in the gay parade, you won't be here next year, you'll get AIDS and die, ha ha. And there into the USA where it's possible to murder a man and when brought to trial, one only has to say that the victim was a queer and they tried to touch you and the courts will set you free. And the difficulties that a bunch of Republican senators have in Albany with supporting an anti-violence bill that includes sexual orientation as a category of crime victims. There's a thin line, a very thin line, as each T-cell disappears from my body, it's replaced by 10 pounds of pressure, 10 pounds of rage. And I focus that rage into non-violent resistance, but the focus starting to slip, the focus starting to slip. My hands are beginning to move independent of self-restraint, and the egg is starting to crack. America, America, America seems to understand and accept murder as a self-defense against those who would murder other people. And it's been murder on a daily basis for eight, nine, ten, count them ten long years. And we're expected to pay tax to support this public and social murder. And we're expected to quietly and politely make house in this windstorm of murder. But I say there's certain politicians that better increase their security forces. And there's religious leaders and healthcare officials that are better get bigger fucking dogs and higher fences and more complex security alarms to their homes. And queer bashers better start doing their work from inside how it's their tanks because the thin line between the inside and the outside is beginning to erode. And at the moment, at the moment, at the moment, I'm a 37 foot tall, 1,172 pound man inside this six foot body. And all I can feel is the pressure. All I can feel is the pressure, the need for release. 